Uh, like I said, you're going to have nine minutes to cut this down. I'm going to say knives down. That's synonymous with stop. Quit. Make yourself uh, not cut meat anymore. So, here we go. Top keeper. Here. Three, two, one. Go! All right, here we go. So, what these, uh, what these gentlemen are cutting into right now is a bony round of beef and whenever you're going to see some uh, some cuts at the, uh, the market whenever you're in the case if anybody wants to get up you're more than welcome to, to kind of come closer if you need to but uh feel free flash photography actually is encouraged here it's not a deterrent to the competitors they're, they're used to it with uh, the starting the game yeah. so both big muscles that are coming out of here yeah i mean just in the overview for those of us who aren't really well versed in they're going to break it down to all the mini cuts that you would do with a side of beef. Right. And then they'll be judged on their craftsmanship, their cleanliness of working, their yield. Craftsmanship, yield, so as in like weight? Yeah, well, waste. Waste, Because they, they should, yeah, so if they're doing it correctly, you know, there's always going to be pieces that are going to be made for sausage later. Right. So they put all their trimmings in one place, and then the rest of the way they do it. And also merchandising, I believe, is the fourth criteria. So you're going to actually see that and note it when you see them butchering. Right. It's going to be really cool. That is uh, close in proximity, and I'm just taking a look at what Andy's doing here because what I wanted to point out, if uh, everybody kind of wants to scan our competitors right now, you've got, you know, four different distinct styles that are ultimately going to be working towards the same motives here. That was pretty impressive, Frank. Today. Pretty impressive. We'll be donated to the school food <laughs> project. And you came to work? Give me a picture. Thank you, Chef Ann.